So I finally listened to Dua Lipa's Future Nostalgia album and yeah, we're about to talk about it. That is so fetch. I am going to talk about the album, the track listing, every everything. And I'm going to give my opinion on it and how I feel about each song. And I love this album a whole lot. One night I was working and um, I wanted to listen to some new music. I didn't, you know, I'm always listening to the same thing, the same artist, and I didn't want to listen to the same thing anymore. So I was like, I want to listen to something new. So happened, clicked on the album and just listened to it. Before we get into the actual songs, I'm going to read some things about her. It Dua Lipa is an English singer and songwriter. After working as a model, she signed with Warner Brothers Records in 2014 and released her debut album in 2017. She was born August 22nd, 1995. She's 25 years old. She's from London, the United Kingdom, height 5'8". Parents, Dukajin, I hope I pronounced it right, Lipa and An Anessa Lipa. So those were some things about Dua. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the track listing, but before we do, Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when I upload, and follow my social media down below in the description box, and make sure you share the video, please. So the first song we have is called Future Nostalgia, which is the title of the album. I love this song from start to finish. In the beginning, you have this weird, creepy voice that comes in, and it's just like, Future. <laughs> and then it kind of transitions into the song, and the beat drops, and it just sounds perfect like it just synced perfectly so the song is about an alpha female who takes charge and control of her and only her and no one else can and i love that so it's just about a woman being confident in who she is and just knowing what she wants people not understanding that i was just like i'm bopping to it and i'm like okay i'm liking this already music just kind of transitioned because back then men were in control of women and their voices and still is in, the, in, in some sort of way but women are now taking charge more way more than before and i love that so she just kind of get you into the groove before you get into the rest of the album she goes on to say that you're trying to figure me out what i took from it is that you know she's futuristic it's hard for people to understand i like it the next song we have is don't start now i feel like it was perfect uh to be the second song because you know you have this in charge very dominant record from you know from the beginning and then we lead to this song that kind of talks about a woman glowing up after a breakup and a guy not being able to handle it you know so she's like hey if you don't want to see my glow don't come out tonight because i'm i'm having fun i'm letting my hair down i'm living my life without you and it may bother you if you see me so i think you should just stay in the house because i'm not gonna stay in the house crying sad mad depressed or anything like that i'm gonna come out and be happy and live my life so if you still bother just stay away from me like don't don't come near me i don't know that's one of my favorites like that song that's one of my favorites going into the second song i'm just like okay love the first song loving the second song so what are we what, what are we doing next next we have cool this is also my favorite song <laughs> like and let me just make this clear because i don't want to make it seem like i'm just saying that i love all the songs and all of them are my favorite even though i love each and every song on the album but this one is this cool is my favorite on it like period cool is talking about a woman who was cold she meet this guy who makes her feel warm inside taking away the coldness and he just has her doing things that she doesn't normally do he's warming up to him and his love and affection and everything that she never really got before a lot of people experience that and a lot of people go through that and that's what this song was kind of to me basically talking about cool it's also metaphorical it's talking about the summer like because it's called cool so she's talking about coldness and he's like her summer to her winter so the next song we have is physical physical is not my favorite but i do kind of like it a little bit um physical it just talks about not being traditional creating your own love doing your own thing not following the rules and i also think it's about sex as well but i could be wrong 
afternoon but i don't think so i think it is about sex so so yeah that's what i got from it it's an uncommon relationship it's not your traditional type of relationship so that's what i got from that not my favorite but i did enjoy it the next song we have is levitating so levitating with the baby is actually doing good on billboard right now um i don't know the placement off the top of my head but i'll probably put it here somewhere that song let me tell you something when i first heard it i thought she was talking about drugs i had to re replay it again because i thought she was talking about getting high like doing drugs or whatever but she was it maybe she was maybe she wasn't as you look into the lyrics it's like she's talking about a guy that she wants to explore with though so that levitating is actually on my list of favorites the way the beat comes in and it just like boom 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 i'm like imagine like just turning up your radio in the car while playing this song and just hearing the like the boom like just everything like this song for me it's an automatic uh repeat like automatically next we have pretty please this is also on my list of favorites pretty please is just in my opinion like when i'm explaining these songs i'm explaining them in my point of view everybody is different but i'm explaining it in my point of view so to me i feel like she was it was basically a woman who is very attentive and she's craving this affection and, and attention from this guy. And she's like craving it. I feel like everybody goes through that. Sometimes you have those moments where you just want more. Play it over and over and over. Every time I listen to it, I pick up on something new all the time. And that's something about this album. Like when you listen to it, to me, each time I listen to it, I pick up on something different. Like a background vocal or you know a certain lyric or ad libs or something i always pick up on something new so, so the next song we have is hallucinate hallucinate is also another song that's not really my favorite it's about this obsessed over a guy who this guy just literally just drives her crazy and insane and she also says something in the song that kind of stuck out to me because i wrote it in my notes i don't have money but just honey or something like that oh okay so you got the little sweetness going on okay you, you ain't got much but this is what i got like i got my affection i got all of this so should be enough hallucinate is a good song but it's not one like i said that i it's not in my list of favorites and it's like also being a fool for this guy so the next one we have is love again on the list of favorites period <laughs> so love again is talking about her being cold to the thought of love but her now being open to it so it's like she talks about her heart being shielded and and this person just being able to come in and show her things differently where it makes her comfortable enough to kind of put the shield away and be a little bit more open um i'm one of those people i love the transition from the songs and the correlations with them as well it's, it's great it's great so now we come to break my heart break my heart is also on the list <laughs> so break my heart is basically i feel like it was a continuation of the last song like i said what i got from it you know it's what i'm i'm telling you guys um what i got from it is just basically explaining that she was the type of person who pushed people away based you know when you go through certain things things in a relationship you're trying your hardest not to go back to that place again or go through what you went through so it's like you start pushing people away because you feel like they're going to give you what you once had before and you don't want that you have to go through it so that way you know what it is that you want or what you don't want you know like the saying you have to kiss a few frogs before you get your prints or whatever a, a song about having second thoughts about letting a particular person into your life so we have another song that is on my list of favorites it's called good in bed so so good in bed is a song about makeup sex basically <laughs> it's, it talks about being with someone that you may no longer really get a get along with so good in bed to me is basically like a girl who is involved with a person that she may not get along with anymore but when they are in the bed and they're having sex and everything it's like the best thing in the world because they escape their problems during those times and then she says something like if we were where we first met or something like that um it would be better because we didn't know each other at the time but now that we know each other, we're comfortable with each other, it's kind of like, ooh, like, I'm not really feeling you right now. But I was, when I was listening to the song, I was like, okay, this is, Im immediately, I was like, this song is about makeup sex. Fight like cats and dogs, but when we make up, it's the best thing in the world. So that's what's keeping us together 
is that one thing that is on my list of favorite songs love it it's nasty but i love it so the next song we have is boys will be boys now this is not my favorite song um but i do love the message behind the song i love the meaning in my opinion i feel like what she's talking about is that boys will be boys they can be you know men can be immature they could do whatever they want to do woman and woman has to be strong and she has to be represented a particular type of way she have to carry herself a type a particular type of way that make other men comfortable and they never get to really do what it is that they want to do but men can go out and have their fun and do everything that they desire but a woman has to be traditional and, and what i got from it is i feel like what she's saying is the youth of today is being misled that is all the songs for future nostalgia now i know it is a midnight edition if you guys want me to do a separate video about the midnight edition i most definitely could do that where i just do those songs because this video is really long now so i don't want to make it too too long so that'll be a separate video but if you guys want that just comment below and let me know make sure you like the video make sure you share the video all that good stuff so i hope you guys like the video like i said make sure you like comment and subscribe share the video leave your comments below what are your favorite songs from the album and if you want to you can put why it's a beautiful body of work one of my favorite pop albums in 2020 and it was chromatica for me it was it, it's chromatica and chromatica and future nostalgia those two are my favorite pop albums in 2020 but yeah i will see you guys in the next one peace that's hot. Bye.